On April 11th, thousands gathered in celebration of community, art, and the environment on the banks of the San Marcos River at this year's Texas Wild Rice Festival. This year attracted about 50 nonprofits and vendors, over 40 workshops, nine musical artists, and over 2,000 visitors. Everyone there got to enjoy the live music, educational lectures, hands-on workshops, arts and crafts, and free food. Nick Menchaca, owner of Atlas Environmental, a contracting company hired by the city to remove non-native invasive species from the river, was serving up tilapia in the form of fish tacos. They uh, become an ecological threat by overpopulating and overwhelming all the native and endangered and threatened species. Um, so we come up and, and we use our bows and, and spearfish them, and uh, it's uh, the, the best method to remove them so far. Austin-based visual artist Johnny Villarreal taught children how to make stop-motion animation with his interactive activity center, the Edge of Imagination Station. Um, so this is a mobile stop-motion animation lab that I actually started here in San Marcos in 2008 as part of my senior thesis show. Um, since then, it's led me into the path of teaching. I've taught classes in a bunch of different places in Austin, working with lots of different community centers, private schools, public schools. These kind of events start to pull together the community in stronger ways. Like, you know, I just met, I met some people here today, connected them with old people that I, older people that I knew from here. Uh, and so it's just about, you know, those kind of things, making those connections. And something like this kind of a festival gives us that opportunity to do just that. Oh my God. <laughs> and this guy, see, <laughs> he's part of it. 